All right, you may be wondering what is the fuss about the ProRes format? So in this video, we're gonna dive into ProRes a little bit further. There's actually five variations of ProRes and it gets pretty technical. So I'm just gonna refer to my notes here. So we have ProRes 4444XQ, ProRes 444, ProRes 422HQ, ProRes 422, and ProRes 422LT. The alternative to ProRes is you can record in H.264 or H.265, but those codecs or formats are highly compressed and they actually require more processing power in your video editor. So the two ProRes formats that the GH6 supports is ProRes 422HQ, which is the higher quality version compared to ProRes 422, which the GH6 also shoots at. So the quality of ProRes is 422 and has a data rate of about 220 megabits per second. It doesn't support alpha channels, but it's higher quality than ProRes 422. ProRes 422 is the default and workhorse video format optimized for Media and Final Cut Pro X. It doesn't support alpha channels, but it offers a good balance between quality and file size. So there you go. That's a little introduction to the different ProRes formats. So you may want to consider what is the purpose of your video? If it's for stock footage, you probably want to max out your quality. And if you're using an external hard drive, you may want to test a video file, just do one minute of video, check the file size, because the file sizes on ProRes format videos can get super large. So you definitely don't want to be doing a to our online video course in ProRes at this time due to the file sizes. H.264, H.265 will give you a lot smaller file sizes, but they will tax your video editing software a lot more. ProRes is optimized for video editing programs like Premiere Pro, like Final Cut Pro. They have faster playback, and because they're not as compressed, they're a lot faster and easier to video edit with. So I hope you found this video helpful, an introduction to ProRes.